Welcome to Tazonomi Online Mathematics. We are continuing the tuition on the topic plane geometry. Today we are taking an aspect called the angle properties of a triangle. Now for a triangle, we know that a triangle is a plane figure bounded by a what? Three straight sides or three straight lines, which is made up of three angles. And there are various types of what? Triangles. So, so we are saying it has three angles, so we have type. So the first type of a triangle is an acute triangle. When they say acute triangle, it's a triangle that has all its angles, all its interior angle less than one. 90. So if I have this A, B, C, if all these angles has a value less than 90, let's say 75, uh, 45, and 35. If all the angles that sum up to give us the 180 is less than what? A 90. We call that an acute triangle. We also have right angle triangle, as the word says, right angles. It's a triangle that is an angle that is exactly what? 90. So right angle triangle is a triangle that has one of each angle equals to what? 90 degrees. So the moment this angle is 90 degrees, we are aware that the remaining angle is supposed to give us what? 45 degrees each. We've got 45 plus 45 plus a 90 will give us what? 180. So if you have any triangle that has one of each angle equals to 90, it becomes a right angle triangle. What of obtuse triangle? We know the word obtuse angles are uh, angles that are bigger than what? 90, but less than what? 180. So if you have any triangle that also have one of each angle, let's say the angle A, if angle A is bigger than 90 degrees, or angle B is bigger than 90 degrees, or even the C, one of them, if one of the angles is bigger than 90, then we refer to this as what? Obtuse triangle. Then we have a scalene triangle. So a scalene triangle has all its angles different. There is all the angles that we have. So if this is longer than this, and this is also longer than this, we call this a scalene triangle. So the angle here will be different. When all the sides are different, all the angles will also be what? Different. The sides are different as in this is longer than this, this is also longer than this. Then each of the angles, this angle will be bigger. Than this, you see, this side is facing here, so B is going to be bigger than A, and A is also going to be bigger than what C in terms of angle. This type of angle is called a scalene triangle. Then we have an isosceles triangle, which is also a triangle that has. Two of each size, what? Equal. Two of the size. So if this is equal to this, this will be different. If this is equal to this, this will be different. But if two of the size are equal, it means that the base angle, the base angle will also be equal. Or better still, if I put here B, it means angle A is equal to what? Angle B. If it is an isosceles triangle. 
base angles will be equal. So if here is 45, here will be 45. Then the twos will add together plus the third one to give us the 180 as we are looking for. An equilateral triangle. has all the size equal all the size are equal and if all the size are equal it also means all the interior angles are what equal so this angle is equal to this angle and is equal to this angle meaning a degree is equals to b equals to c and all the angles are equals to 60 degrees all the angles so if a is 60 it means each of the angles is going to be 60 degrees all right so one property the property that we are having each of the triangles have their own properties but there's a property that run through all of them there is one property that run through all of them that is all the triangles whether it is obtuse, scalene, equilateral, all the sum of their interior angles. The sum of all their interior angles will give us what? 180. And that is evidence in equilateral triangle and right angle triangle. Equilateral triangle have all the angle equals to what? 60. Meaning 60 plus 60 plus 60 will give us what? 180. In the case of right angle, we said this is 45, 45, and this is also what? 90. So 90 plus 45 plus 45 will also give us what? 180. So all the triangles, if we were to take this particular triangle and cut the angles and align them on a straight line, they will fall on a straight line. So from here, I can have A, B, C. Each of the vertex angles, when placed on a straight line, will match up. So that will give us 180. So that is one angle property common to all the triangles. Okay. The angles inside is what we call interior angles. The angles outside is called what? Exterior angle. So there is also one property common to all of them. That says that what? So we are saying that what? The sum of two opposite interior angles of a triangle is equal to each word exterior angle so what it means is that if you are calling this interior interior this is going to be exterior angle so this exterior angle is equals to the two opposite the sum of these two opposite interior see this Two angles are opposite to this. So if I have angle A and angle what? B. The angle E here is going to be equals to A plus what? B. The two opposite interior. If the exterior is here, the angle here will also be equals to this plus this angle. So this is evidence in where we have a triangle. We have a triangle like this. Let's say we have here y and here is x. We are asked to find y. We know that per this rule, y is going to be 45 plus what? 75 degree. Exterior angle equals to the sum of two opposite interior angle. So our y is going to be, this is going to be 120. 120 degrees. Right? Okay. Now, if we want to check whether this property is really true, let's ignore the y and put x here. Let's find our x. We know it's going to be x plus 75 plus 45 equals what? 180. Because the sum of angles in a triangle add up to what? 180. Meaning this 2 is going to 180. 180 might, sorry, 120. 
120 minus 180 will give us what? Uh, 60 degrees. Meaning x is going to be 60 degrees. We also know that x plus y are angles on a straight line. If I add these two angles, I should get 180. Therefore, this is 60 degrees plus y, which is what we are looking for. So also give us what? 180. So our y equals to 180 minus 60. And I believe I will still get the 120 that I'm looking for. So just the exterior is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. So these are the two properties common to all the triangles that we have, even though each have their individual properties. Good. So let's see how best we can use the properties we've learned to solve this question. If you check, you can see this is a triangle. This is also a triangle. But in the smaller triangle is an isosceles because this side is mark and the bigger one is equilateral which we have been told in the question so we have seen that triangle uh we call it x u w is an isosceles triangle so if that is the case it means this angle and this angles are equal so let the angle u w which is this x equals to angle u x w u x w is equals to u x u w x let that equals to what y if that is true we know that the sum of angles in the triangle add up to what 180 therefore y plus y which is these two angles plus 130 should give us what? 180 degrees. And this two, y plus y will be 2y. So we are going to have 180 minus what? 130. So fast forward, 2y is going to be, I believe we have 50 degrees. So dividing through with 2, it makes our y equals what? 25 degree. Therefore, the angle in the corner here, which is... I'm taking this because the angle I am asked to find is in the same direction. Now, we have been told that the bigger triangle, which is this, is an isosceles. So, it's equilateral. Since triangle W, X, Y, since this triangle as a bigger triangle is equilateral triangle, it means that the angle here is going to be 60 degrees. That simply means that the angle y x w is going to be 60 degrees because all the angles in equilateral triangle give us what 60 degrees so if that is the case don't forget this angle here the one we just found the angle u x w plus the angle here u x y Is supposed to give us what 60 degrees. These two angles add up to give us the 60. Therefore, since I know this as 25, my angle okay, 25. So this angle that I am looking for is going to be 60 minus what 25 degree, and I believe that to be. 35 so it means the angle we are looking for here will just be 35 for degree as uh, using the properties that we've just discussed i believe you are able to grab one or two concepts from this thank you for watching like share and comment and we will continue to learn 
together. See you in the next episode.